Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. There. Brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I 
no. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us without adding army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor and float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Pull up alongside. Quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Step. Over here. Come on. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. 
Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. The detonator's by me, here. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They've... Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! My father won't be happy about this! They fired first! Uh, ah. You damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I have a bad feeling about this. We said nobody would be killed. It's done now. 
Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Okay, we need to ride hard. Stay with me. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Ah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. I don't know how much longer we can hold them. This is it. This... Well, Arthur... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. What we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Hello? Come in. You 
don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. So... We don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about Eagle Flies and the reason for his arrest. In part, yes. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Okay. Let's continue on. So, uh, where was I? Yes, I know enough. Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but I worry that won't be the end of it. Dutch seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own, and... Well, this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust... Careful! He's doing all this entirely out of solidarity. 
What else does he have to gain from it? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. I just thought you should be aware. I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Things that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. I cannot believe this. Rangefall, over here. I think I see an army camp. There they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. <sighs> Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who... Not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe, 
Of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he, he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now imprisoned at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well... Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it right there! Whoa, you 
better put that down right now. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? We're the United States Army. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, no, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen. We're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come off. Think about what you're doing. It's get off me. This way. Right now. Ooh, okay. <laughs> what do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. 
I wouldn't think so. Here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Hello? Come in. Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, uh, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. 
You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. And try and find our way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. We have to get rid of them, Arthur. Hold them off. I'll get Eagle Flies to the canoes. Come on! Get in here! Oh, thank you, friend. Fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. 
Shouldn't you all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? Thank you. No much. Yeah. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me. Ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan. Have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No. No. Go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on. Help these men. Anyone see Eagle Flies? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Thank you. 
to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick. Ugh. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get out of the factory, Bill. Where's Colonel Davis? Send him out here. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job... But well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Martin. 
Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy, and we couldn't believe it, and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there... Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is. I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. friend here, my friend, he's a brave man, fearless, always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peter. Yes. <laughs> Peter. It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Come on! Don't die, brother! Not yet. My son. What are you gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. 
Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. 